Er, yes. Uh, hello again. What are you doing here? <laughs> well, I... Uh, Honestly, darling, you really are extraordinary. Yes, well, uh, here I am. You must have been desperate to see me. I mean, I'm flattered, but couldn't have been inside of that. No, 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 you've got it all wrong. What is it? Uh, you see, about last night, perhaps I got carried away a bit, perhaps. What are you trying to say? I, I, I want to call it off. I see. The fact is, I, I didn't promise anything, and, and, and people do talk. I have a reputation to worry about. You don't about. have to say anymore. I, 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 my wife, Myrtle, I, I don't know if she got to hear of it, but... Of all the nerve. I, I want you to know, I, I didn't mean it this way. I'm sorry I don't like this. You will enter, Howard. I, but I, I meant the things I said. Yes, it shows brilliant promise. I shall say so. I'll kill you for this time, I guess, Cone. Good God. I can't stay for a game of cards. Oh, Lady Muldoon will be disappointed. You mean, you mean she wants to meet me? I told her you were here and put her in quite a tizzy. Yes, well, you suppose a man of my reputation is not to be sneezed at? Yes, quite a tizzy, you say? Yes, really. Verdoot. Verdoot, what the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> Nothing. Stop making an ass of yourself. Come and sit down. <laughs> oh, I know what you're thinking, Boo, but... The fact is, I, I genuinely consider her performance to be one of the summits. Darling! Ah, a good evening. May I say that I genuinely consider your performance to be one of the summits? Don't say anything for the moment. Just hold me. Yes, yes, dear lady, yes. <laughs> Let us throw off the hollow pretenses of the Jim Grant coat that we live by. Dear lady, from the first moment I saw you, I felt as if my whole life was changing. You can't go on eating like this. I am not ashamed to proclaim nightly my love for you. <laughs> Fortunately, however, that will not be necessary. I know of a rather nice hotel, very discreet, run by a man of the world. But darling, this is madness. Yes, I am mad with love for you. Please, remember where we are. I don't care. Let them think what they like. I love you. Don't. I love Albert. Albert's dead, don't you understand me? He's dead. <laughs> no, let me go. I will never give up hope. We are not free. You mean Myrtle? She means nothing to me. Nothing. She's all Coco and blue nylon fur slippers. There's not a spark of creative genius in her whole slumping, knee-length, niggered body. You're a cad, Simon. You will use me and cast me aside as you have cast aside so many others. No, Cynthia. Now that I have found you... You're ruthless. So strong, so cool. Have you taken leave of your tiny mind? Stop! Can't you see you're making a fool of yourself? She's right. You keep out of this. Yes, what is it, Mrs. Dress? If I close the windows, my lady, the fog Yes, is you'd here. better. Look, they've got your number. I'll leave my own time, thank you very much. It's the finish of you, I suppose you know that. I don't need your two penny Grub Street prognostications. I have found something bigger and finer. Only it were Higgs. And fetch the major down. I think I hear him coming downstairs now. Ah! Simon, <laughs> are you all right? Oh. <laughs> that reckless bastard! What's he doing here? Just turned up. Really? How do you like it? I couldn't take it night after night. So, you're still here. Of course he's still here. We're going to play cards. There's no need to introduce you to it, therefore I call now that you, Simon, met me through Felicity, our mutual friend. Yes, Simon's an old friend. Yes, well, uh, I like to give young up-and-comers the benefit of my her. Of course, she lacks technique as of yet. Last night. I am not talking about last night. <laughs> Indeed. Well, you deal, Felicity. Simon, you help me with the sofa. Magnus? Did you see that? You're trying to kill me. I told you it was Magnus, and not that it is Magnus. Who did it, you mean? What? Do you think it's not Magnus who did it? Get a grip on yourself, Moon. The facts are staring you right in the face. He's after Cynthia, for one thing. It's gas gold, isn't it? Over my dead body. If he comes between us... God's sake, sit down. Simon! I can't, Moon. She needs me. I've got to go make it before. Right, who starts? I do. I'll dummy for a no-bid rock and double eye holding on South's queen. Did I hear you say you saw Felicity last night, Simon? Er... Page 21, you're trumped by contract. Cynthia's turn. I'll trump your contract with the five dummy note trumps there, and I'll support the rebid for the baker up on the solo tricks there. Simon? Uh, would you mind doing that again? I move West Rooks for the rebid on the banker rough there, and I support the double tricks for the semi-bluff on the double tricks there. <laughs> but I call you a bluff! 
Well done, Simon. Strange how Simon appeared in the neighborhood from out of nowhere. We know so little about him. Simon, it's your opening on the minor bid. Yes. Hmm, let's see. I'll move Westbrook for the rebanker on the double tricks there, and I'll put the holding on South Queen for the double tricks there. Eight spots, jukes. Red Ed Apus, Rouge et Noir, Zero. And I call you bluff. I melt. I huff. I rough. I bluff. Twist. Bust. Check. Snap. How's that? Not out. Double top. Bingo! No, Simon, you're luxed in tonight. You shall see. The nice one will get some. Yes, Colin. Oh, red herring. Smell out of my love. Seen it a thousand times. And I've seen you too before, haven't I? Funny, there's, uh, there's something about you. Try for a spin around the road. No, Magnus. I must talk to Simon. There's nothing for you there, you know. Yeah, think so. Oh, yes. She's, she knows which side her bread is buttered. I'm not one without the name of making reputations of those who would reap the limelight. She's not going to throw me over for a heavily disguised cripple. There's an old Canadian pro, bro. Oh, don't give me that. I tumbled to Europe from the start. You chaps aren't as clever as you think. Sooner or later, you make your mistake. Incidentally, where was it I saw you? I definitely... Simon! I think I'll go oil my gun. I think Magnus suspects something. And Felicity. Simon, was there anything between you and Felicity? No, 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 no. I merely flattered her over her drink, told her she'd go far, that sort of thing. Dear me, the fuss has been made over a simple flirtation. If I find that you have been untrue to me, if I find that you have falsely seduced me for my dear husband Albert, I will kill you, Simon Gascone. I can't move. What uh, do you think you're doing? You're turning it into a complete farce. I know, I know, but I can't live without her. I don't care. I'm a goner. I sure resign my position, of course. Bird Boot, think of your family, your friends, your high standing in the world of letters. I say, what are you doing? Bird Boot, leave it alone. Come and sit down. What's the matter with you? It takes. What? It's Higgs. Don't be silly. I tell you it's Higgs. I don't understand. He's, he's dead. Dead? Who would want to? He must have been lying there all the time. Kill Higgs. But what's he doing here? I was standing in tonight. Moon. But I swear. Moon, I've got it. But I didn't. Moon, I, I, I see it. I swear I didn't. Moon, I, I finally see it all. Bang! <laughs> 